This 50 Campfire segment is brought to you by the Rugged Lantern from Zippo Outdoor. Hey campers, today we're going to take a look at the Coglins folding shovel with saw. There's a saw on it. Let's take a look and uh, see what we got. So here's what the saw looks like folded up. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty compact. It's a pretty small unit. We have a little push button on here, a couple notches here, and you can fold the saw out. And there you go. One thing I like about this is that there are, uh, there's an extra set of notches right here. So if you want to lock the, uh, lock the shovel in a 90 degree angle, you can do that as well. So, you know, if you're covering up a, um, a fire pit, if you're digging a hole to do your business out in the woods, there are a lot of different things that are going to be uh, kind of handy to have this at that angle. Or of course you can have it folded all the way out. You can have the handle extended out a little bit as well. And you would just tighten that up. Give you just a little bit more leverage. Uh, there's a couple of ridges here. So you actually could get your foot on there if you really wanted to try to uh, do any on your, another kind of digging. Secret saw. So if you unscrew the handle here, the lock on the handle, you have this other part that comes out. And then we have a little, little nut here that's gonna come out of this handle. And that's where the saw is. Uh, I think this is a pretty neat feature. If you want to cut up any, you're obviously not gonna cut down a tree with it, right? But any two inch, three inch uh, branches, if you kinda wanna trim them up or, um, you know, for kindling or anything like that. Uh, the only thing that I, that I um, think could have been improved about this unit is that the, 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 this part of the saw uh, that screws back in is, is like a hard plastic. If it was metal, it'd be a little bit more durable. But one thing that I love about this saw is that it's like 14 bucks. So I still think it's kind of a no brainer to throw it in your camp box. Uh, it's it's well worth it so you can have a shovel because that's that's one of those kind of items where you're going to end up using it more than you probably think. So then this just screws back in here and you have this you have this little saw that you can do a little bit of work with. Like I said, obviously light work, um, but a pretty, pretty neat option to have. Screws out, flips around and then just screws back in here. You just have to be really careful when you're screwing this in or out to uh, not miss uh, thread it. It'd be pretty easy to do that if you wouldn't go slow and make sure that you got it started uh, correctly each time. And then that's about it. This little piece goes back in the handle. You can screw that down and then for storage, flip this closed and then there you go. The other thing that I like about this is that for 14 bucks you end up with, the way I view it is you know, if you live in any northern part of the United States, for 14 bucks you end up with a nice little shovel for your camp box, but then you can throw it in your car for the winter too to dig yourself out if you get stuck or anything like that. So, uh, like I said, at that price point, hard to think of a reason not to pick one up and toss it in the box. 